The nutritional levels for bucks and does, their needs are going to be different in these ways. A doe basically needs just prime nutrition throughout the year. If she's going to be bearing fawns the next spring, she has to have her skeletal size there. She's got to have the proper body weight. You know, a doe fawn can breed. Normally when they get to 80 pounds or more in fall, a doe fawn will breed and conceive fawns that next year. A mature doe, she's going to need optimal nutrition for lactation. She's going to need it to get through winter. She's going to need it in spring so she can carry that fawn to full term. So what we see is in areas that are lacking nutrition, does that come out of winter in poor shape, they're not going to be successful mothers. So what are the physiological needs of bucks versus does? Well, they're the same and they're different. They're the same in the fact that if they get enough quality nutrition, they're going to reach max potential and they're going to be healthy. That's plain and simple. But for a buck, his needs are building that skeletal size and that body mass. And that's going to come through age and it's going to come through proper nutrition. So if he's getting proper nutrition, he's going to reach, you know, three, four, five years old. He's going to peak out at three years old. He's going to be a stud. At four years old, he's going to be just be a brute and beyond that. And that body size is going to be there. In most places, that buck's going to be 200 pounds or way more than that. And it's, you know, it's muscle, it's body mass. Antler size is going to be manifested through proper nutrition. Age and food, that's what they need, basically. We can talk about genetics all we want, but at the end of the day, a buck needs age and he needs a lot of good food to reach his max antler potential. Here's a real simple tip that I hope will help you become a more successful deer hunter. For me, deer hunting is all about scent control. And what I try to do is take a total scent free approach when going deer hunting. My boots, my footwear is the first step of defense because when I'm walking to my blinds, to my stands and back, I don't want to be leaving scent on the ground and that's where the scent is coming from, are my boots. How many times do you see this? Guys going to the gas station wearing their boots, that is picking up so much scent and when you walk to and from your stands, deer will pattern you really quickly. Here's my approach to it, really simple. I have specific footwear, some pull-on slippers, some mock style sandals here that I basically, I wear those while I'm driving. That's basically all I'm gonna have on my feet when I'm in a vehicle, when I'm going to a gas station, I'm heading to a convenience store, whatever. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray down my boots with scent killer and make sure they dry before I put them in a tote. I use a simple tote. I've used this tote for 20 years. I've had it forever. I wash it out with scent killer. I keep it scent free. And that is specifically for my boots. Now I have two different styles of boots that I use. I've got the hiking style boots and I've got the neoprene high shin type of boots. Here's a new product that I've been using. It's pretty neat. They're tote tamers from scent killer. And basically what these do, it's really simple. It's no zone. So a lot of people don't like the ozone because especially for, I do use ozone on other things, but I will not use my boots because what I found is it eats away at the rubber if you keep putting those in an ozone container. So these tote tamers work very simple. Now I can use these in my tote or I can just stick them right in my backpack or right in the boot. Really simple, you just take the tote tamer. If I wanna put these in my boot, drop them in my boot, one in each boot, I can do that and I can have my boot on the porch at camp or somewhere. Basically they absorb odor and they take away moisture as well. I can have them right in my boot like that, but what I like to do is I will put them in my boots and just basically keep them in this scent-free tote. I put one in each boot into the tote. Get two more, put them in my hiking boots. It's sealed up. I keep my tote in the back of my truck. I can spray the outside of that with scent killer if I want, and I'm all scent free and ready to go.